And a photograph we were all passing around today. Look at it, it's not what it seems. This week, a woman in kindness offers food to someone who appears to be homeless. But in fact, he is actor Richard Gere, in character, shooting a film. Well, the groups who help the homeless say this picture is a way to open everyone's eyes to how invisible the homeless have become. One group even filmed a kind of experiment, people walking by the homeless not knowing they were secretly members of their own family, relatives they love. Here's ABC's John Donvan now with that video that has a lot of people talking tonight. This woman was filmed walking past a homeless person, something that happens thousands of times a day in America, but she did not realize the woman on the sidewalk was her own sister. This woman didn't realize it was her own uncle there. This man, no idea the person he's going past is his wife. It was all a setup to shine a spotlight on the homeless in a way that we would never forget. This is how it worked. An ad had been placed, announcing a film being made about New York with the director looking for real people with real opinions on the place they call home. The idea was hatched by these two guys. They secretly contacted the relatives of those who answered the ad and arranged for them to be out here when their loved ones walked by. And so Veronica passed right by her sister. And Shania walked by her uncle. And Tom, married for over 34 years, went right past his wife, Mary Ann. And then each of them was shown the tape. And their responses, well, wordless. Or almost. It's, you know, and things are a lot more real than you expect, so. It's not the film's purpose to single these people out. It's to point out that we've become so used to seeing the homeless that we don't see them. The number of homeless in America has soared past 600,000 people on some days. 100,000 are chronically homeless. Every single person you see homeless on the street is somebody's mother, somebody's cousin, somebody's daughter. The film ends on an upbeat note. Each passerby, now informed, gets another pass, another chance to do what they did not do the first time, to see and connect. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington.